The first time I got on Kinza King was about a month and a half ago. Didn't know much about him. I followed him a few times. You know, he's always beat me every time. Every race that he ran in the States, just about. Carl asked me if I would be interested in riding him. I was like, of course I would be. So then I got to work him one morning and uh, what a neat horse. The good ones have something special and he has that. I always thought, well, you know, he got away this time, an easy lead, next time I'll do this and I can beat him, but it wasn't that, you know. He's just a really, really intelligent, smart horse. But I know that day at Golden Gate, he warmed up really well. He was ready, you know, he's coming off a long layoff and he was focused, sharp, really wanted to do something, so I knew he was gonna run well. I had to get him out of there a little bit, but after that, I just let him place himself. You know, with him, he's usually on the lead, making the pace. So once you get there, you just want to get him into a rhythm. You can tell if they're in distress or if they're happy and comfortable and relaxed, and he was. So to me, whenever you get a horse in that state, it doesn't matter how fast or how slow you go. They're going to run regardless because they're in that good, comfortable rhythm, and, and the good ones just happen to go fast. <laughs> it's probably one of the greatest feelings to me. The, in the world, it is the greatest feeling in the world, actually. I'll tell you what, you wait till I get to Dubai. If he wins in Dubai, I'll be breakdancing. <laughs> How fast did they go? 109. Did they really? They're running in 12. Yeah, this, on this track, this is, the fractions were lively, and the final time was good, yeah. I've been fortunate enough to, first of all, get on, and Carl's put me on him, but I've worked him a few times, and he really loves to play cat and mouse <laughs> with the horse. He'll let him almost get up to his head at times, but then as soon as he decides, okay, that's enough, he mm -hmm. kicks it in another gear. Pretty much what he did. He really recovered well. I, after the race, I thought he'd really be blowing. And he stood there for about two seconds, and then after that, he recovered very well, so mm. that's a good sign. God, he got so much heart, doesn't he? He would have took off again once the other one came Five, eight, and 56. A lot of credit goes to the help back in the barn with Carlos, who's groom, and all my help and my grooms, and my owner, obviously, who's been the backbone of my operation. Okay, let me jump in the shower, guys. Hey, Thank you. Okay. See you in the taxi. Yeah, I'll call you.